What's happening here is that this is a good example of a technique where you really got to trust your jujitsu and your ability to control and, and, and create connectivity with the other person, okay? I don't have a problem being sideways on my shoulder. I know that I have good control of him because I'm like latched onto him, you know what I'm saying? So from here, I also want you guys to understand, from here, I can't, I have to break his posture down. From here, as I turn my hip, I move my hip back here and I'm pulling him in. So there's constant connectivity here. Four points of contact, one, two, three, four. Feet on hips, he's even five, six, pinching here and pulling. He's gonna pull his elbow back, or he's gonna get triangle here. I turn to my side, switch that grip, loop it through, and I'm gonna pull him in, and my leg hooks. But this right here is the key, because if I own his right arm with this lasso, I control his right shoulder, okay? So from here, he doesn't really have much balance to go that way, okay? Especially if I begin to hook that leg, and now from here, see how I'm coiled? This knee has to get out of the way. It's a shield mount the problem, okay? So here I'm gonna hit and I'll bring him up. See that right here? But I want my feet on the mat. As I go, so, so he put his hand out. If I keep pushing him into his hand, he's gonna stop it. So I keep walking out this way and sitting up perpendicular here. And as I go here, when I grab my gi, his gi right here, I have a very good control position. Now, pinching my knees, I'm not all up like this, because now he can move his leg around. You got a pinch right here, and I'm shoulder opening this right here. So here I can windshield wipe with my foot right here. And I can move it out this way here, as I go here, and I still continue to roll on him, and we do get into a nice scarf fold right here. So, yeah. But you see, you gotta have control, and you gotta believe. But you see how I coiled, and then I shot both legs too. Okay. Because look, the concept of hip escape, okay, you coil, hip, shoulder, feet, and you recoil. Because if I stay like this, I'm done. I got a feet, hip, shoulders, recoil, feet. So I have to constantly have something to push with. Because if I just do this, feet, shoulder, now I'm just here, I'm dead. Okay, okay. so one more time. This one. Whether you have a collar sleeve, whether you got both sleeves here, look, here, here, and I'm gonna pull him in here so that my right leg doesn't have to reach so far. Because if I'm here, right here, he'll start passing, which is fine, because now you have. <laughs> this one right here, in case you miss that hook. Well, you pull them in and you get that bottom hook in. So we're here, okay. Look, I turn on my side, hook, and now this pulls and my left foot hooks here. Look how close that is, right there. And I hook and I go zoom on the knee, shoot this third. And I begin to hoist them up on top of me here. It's because from here, here, I can go here. I'd rather attach to him. Here, or, or just, just here. That one's the worst. Yeah, this is way <laughs> worse here. Because here I can move it over here, and then from here. Yeah. Okay? So shoot that through. I'll give you one more variation. So here, with this hand, I grab his left leg. I shoot my hips through, but he postured up. And he put his hand on my shoulder. So I can't quite take him over, okay? I'm gonna take him up with my left knee and I'm gonna reach for this foot right here, okay? You can even grab this right here. And now from here. I come up, hips up. Come up. You grab the foot you were hooking? Yeah. I'm just hooking the foot. It's there, okay? And now he's got no right foot and no right arm. Okay, one more time. So you see. This is for when they posture up because big guys, it'll be problematic to hoist them up because you gotta get their weight on top of you. But this is where your left uh, lasso is important. So I got here, pull the man. Yeah, see, he's already been swept like this. So I go under 
and I'm gonna come through and he postures up and I can't get his weight here, okay? So here, I'm gonna bring my left leg up, just take balance here, just grab his foot right here, okay? As I put my feet on the mat, my hips come up and I'm gonna go up. And, I, and then here you can reclaim that nice control here. Or if you don't, it doesn't matter because the point is, is that you still wind up on top. And here, as I let this go here, and then you have a lot of good movement, okay? So you'll see, right hand hooks that leg, just switch a little bit further and hook that foot. But the key to hooking that foot, one last time, is this. You gotta do, look, I loop that through, pull them in, hook it, but he's already posturing up, and he's staying up. Look from here. I'm gonna try to sweep him with this leg right here, or with this arm right here, and I can't. But what I can do is I can bring his body forward this way, right there. Hook that foot, but my feet come on the mat. So my hips come up, Mm -hmm. And I use that momentum. So you so you'll sit here, so he'll cross his feet. Who cares? Okay, that's fine. Then I'll be here. And then I'll start passing out. Doesn't matter. I don't care. What's important? You got on top. Make sense? Do you get, do you Let's do it. Do you get sweep if you still end up in a half guard? Yeah, that's a sweep. When I get my foot out of half guard, if I pass, then I get more points for a pass. And then if I mount from there. But if I go from a half guard to a mount, then they'll only give me mount. I have to go from half guard to side control. Then mount one with that Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Hook that foot, but once you hook that foot, get your hips up and you kind of do like a hip up and sit up. Once you wipe your feet to the right, 